Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Barcelona against Roma. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. the lineups Identify as the key man in this fixture. I think Edin Dzeko is the one to keep an eye on. His game is all about goals, although he does make other contributions, of course. But can he step it up to a ruthless level and be regarded as one of the very best? That's the question we might be asking later. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. It's hit the upright. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Checo, Iniesta, and it's Coutinho, he's got away with one there, well when both teams are going about their business in, in such an attacking fashion, I think we're on a winner here, Florenzi, Al-Sharawi, this is promising, Struppen with the ball through, now it's Checo, Oh, he's broken through. He's come loose. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling he's it in. He's found his man. Defence has got rid of that. Jordi Alba. Coutinho. Shoots! By Ingolan. Gets good distance on it. Sergio Busquets, great challenge, Iniesta, great leap! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there, they've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. De Rossi. Checo, a mixture of good defending and indecisive passing, no progress, and Messi! Good clearance and very necessary. The shot's on! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. Showed great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Now, surely, big moment, massive goal. Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. 
another really important contribution as we near half time and it can make such an impact on each mindset. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Barcelona take the deadlock. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. There is the half-time whistle. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, look, they, they were caught by a breakaway goal. Uh, but there's no reason as to why they can't work their way back into this. If they can play to their potential second half, I think most... He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Suarez Jordi Alba Iniesta passes it through great reaction oh wonderful wonderful Lionel Messi two up and threatening to pull clear <laughs> Messi was quick to move in keeper's handling wasn't great that's was the last line of defence and you don't get it right and you're paying a visit to your net Barcelona take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Dinks one in. Al Sharawi looking to get on the end of this. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Philippe Coutinho going for goal oh the keeper's done ever so well that wasn't the easiest of saves by any means Peter and I think his instincts were well they were just razor sharp oh he really wanted that I would agree uh, it's tremendous play he's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain and the ball's come out oh and they really should have been made to pay well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Thrust towards the front line. Tries a through ball. Luis Suarez. There's a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Spoon forward. He's away! A chance! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after but put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. He put on quite a show there. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle him. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Nyingalan. And it's Perotti. Back to the keeper and try something new. Philippe Coutinho is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Now the pass. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. De Rossi tries to get it forward quickly. Iniesta. Forward. What does he try from here? Philippe Coutinho gets flagged offside. And time is up. Well, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? 
Barcelona have some very strong runners from midfield and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that but this was very impressive the way they cut through the heart of that defence.